Damn it, man. So you said fuck you said fuck you. You ghosted everybody, man. What happened? I mean what do, I mean No It's uh being an owner op just takes takes a lot. And with stuff that was going on and with this I wanted to make sure I concentrate on this, so but I came mean? down to just my family and uh mm -hmm. friends that are family and that's it. But wait a minute, Red. I thought you I, I thought you was I thought you was smooth with the owner op but wait. Are you at the same place that we talked before, or are you at a different place, or where where you? No, I I'm you, at F two F where I pick on pick my own loads now. But the I truck, was at CDN. But the truck is yours though, right? Yeah, the truck is with me. Uh, I just I I freed it up so I could go where I wanted to go, and then I came to here so I could um choose my own loads and make my own path. Okay, what I mean by the truck is yours, it is yours that you paid for no, I ain't paid it ain't paid I'm paying <laughs> okay so I'm you still doing notes yeah uh, okay so but you you doing so you doing something like a lease that you can only go to companies according to that lease no 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 I was in the beginning when I first started I paid the money which is basically the rest of the down payment uh-huh and now I can go anywhere I want to go oh okay but before you did that you, yes. you was only that's you right was only, that's why I was at CDN because I could only go to one of the three at the time and that was one of them oh, okay okay yeah, okay because I didn't have the full down payment okay 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 because yeah I know I know a few people that uh that that lease but they can only go right. to certain companies within that lease. Right, there right. You go. But you can go, yeah. you can go to U.S. Express. You can go to Variant. You can go anywhere you want I, now. I can go anywhere I want, and it ain't they ain't coming after the company for their truck note. They coming directly for me. Gotcha. That's what's up. <laughs> right, okay. me and my bank account. Yeah. Okay, that's what's they up. They ain't and gonna give flying flip where I'm working or not. And you say you had to pretty much concentrate from there, though, right? Wait, whoa, what? I say broke you, up. Sorry about that. I say you had to pretty much concentrate from there, right? Concentrate about your business, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, as far as, um, because I've said it before, I'm a planner, I'm a co-dispatcher, mm -hmm. I'm the driver, mm -hmm. I'm the accountant. <laughs> you, you <laughs> the list everything. just goes on and on. Yeah, I wear all that, so, yeah. And, and that's what a lot of people don't understand uh where all this extra stuff comes into play when y'all decide to go on right. Op, right 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 so my question yep. to you is is why that you doing all this stuff why not delegate it to different people why not just hire outside you know like a cpa or or somebody to handle your dispatches and all like that why not do why why not do that um i'm I've started to think about that. If I do go, like, um, look into an actual dispatch company, that might be sometime next year. Mm -hmm. Right now, because I'm my goal in being owner op was to not run hard. So, but <laughs> which you're I'm not. Hard, uh, that's not well. Hard as in having to wear all the different hats, but not hard as in the way I did when I was a company driver. Because right now, that's what I was saying on my live earlier today. Is um. I take an average of a week off in a month. So, um, I, as a company driver, I just couldn't do that. And even as a lease driver, you know, through these companies, I couldn't even do that. So, um, now that I have control over the money that I make, I make what I need, and then that's about it. I'm not going for the gusto every time I come out. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so I, I appreciate the uh, the uh, couple of minutes, <laughs> but the real reason the real reason why I called you is I'm trying to get a hold of Red Cat. Uh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I barely have signal. What did you uh, say? Okay, I said well, I appreciate the couple of minutes. Thank you very much. But oh, yeah. But the real reason I called you for is I'm trying to get a hold of Red K. I can't help you at all. Not at all. I don't I don't know anything. I ain't known anything for almost two years now. So Wow. Yeah. What weren't y'all close uh, at one point? He he's got he the last time we talked, he his girlfriend went from girlfriend to fiance. So I bowed out. 
there was no way I was going to continue to keep in touch with him. Oh, <laughs> damn it, man. You and did... as far as I know, he's married and he had a whole baby, so uh, that's the last I know. Yeah, because he used to be heavy on YouTube. And, yeah. And, you know, and, the, and he went to go work for an Ohio company. And and that was it. It that was it. He just he just he 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 did a Kaiser Soze on us, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, his last videos, I think he did talk about his son. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Kind of mm -hmm. hard to, to be doing all that when you got a newborn baby. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, well, Red K, trying to get a hold of you, bro. <laughs> Try, where, where you hiding at? You still driving, my G? What's up? Uh, uh, Red Duchess, man. Um, wow. I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't realize you, you know, you, you was going through a, you was going through a thing. But I, I do appreciate you always uh, giving me a time because you know I, I thought I did something wrong. You know. I, oh you no. Know, uh -uh. I, you know, I thought I did something wrong to you. I was like, okay, well, all right, that's another one busted dust. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Sometimes the personal life and the business life, you know, the social life for me is third. So mm -hmm. family life comes first, then my business, then social. So. All right. Well, you know, we we still we still rocking out in your Facebook group. It's still your Facebook. Yeah. Your Facebook group is still going. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, and you yeah just, I still try to do that. Make sure I post a little something so you know people at least know I'm alive. But. There you go. <laughs> and you just yeah. mentioned that you still rocking out on YouTube, so you still doing your YouTube? Oh yeah, I what? did a live today, basically introducing my um the start of my merch. So Red Duchess got merchandise now. Yeah, I've been waiting for a trademark. I have put in for it. So Red Duchess um, got merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We gotta talk. Let, let's talk about that for a little bit because we already know about you know we we talked. We already know about your background, but merchandise. How did you, how did you go to set it up? Did you go? Did you go by way of a drop shipment, or do you got like, or did you went out and um, get like a a printing press and all that other stuff? Oh no no. Uh oh okay. No, I, w I did Teespring. My daughter, my youngest daughter is helping me out with this. So she set that up and I was planning on launching it this summer, but um, we had to get samples and then the samples came back messed up. So mm -hmm. it took us a little, little bit because I guess through them, when you order it yourself, it takes longer than a person, you know, actual customer orders it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So but what? But for now, we're going to go with them. I'm going to end up looking into something else. All right. So with Teespring, I think they have something to do with YouTube as well. But with Teespring, you send them a, a design or something like that. And then they're, 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 for whatever orders that comes in for that particular design, they're added to the T-shirt of size, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, being that you're going through Teespring and not doing this fully yourself, is what, what's the percentage breakdown? 60, 40, 50, 50, 40, 40, 40, 50, 30, 70? What is uh, it? Uh, <laughs> you're breaking up, but I know what you're asking, and I can't tell you because my youngest daughter's doing that. <laughs> I, I got to the point where I didn't have the time to do it myself, and I told her if you get it launched, you get paid, and that's good. So, oh, okay, she, so you, she's handling it. All right, so you letting your daughter handle all of that good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Red yeah. Duchess merchandise. Okay, okay. Yeah. Red Duchess on the t-shirt. That's what's good. Uh, life is good for you, Red Duchess, man. You 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 sound good. Yeah. I mean, it's going all right. So, all right, I, yep. I I I love talking to you and all like that. So I really do appreciate you uh you uh hollering at me for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Long long way coming to where you at right now. So that's a beautiful beautiful thing. Are you still yeah. uh Are you still active in the she trucking trucking group? 
Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, cool. There's been some stuff I've commented on, like, right after you. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Then but, you, uh, yeah. do you, you agree with me on some of the tomfoolery that be asked in that damn group, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of that stuff. But, you know, I try not to, uh, I don't get no, too deep in nah, that. Nah, nah, man. I, I'm, I'm the un... I'm I'm the dislike un, of uh unpopular opinion guy. And I have to be that. <laughs> I have to be that because a lot of I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you ladies. I really do. I love the support that you guys give to one another. But sometimes you're gonna have to have to hear the harsh reality of the question that you're asking. For real, for real. I mean, you know, you got I understand the ladies be coming in and they be like, oh geez, and all like that. I'm I'm there to tell you the real, like, yo, come on. You know, it's like it's like the dad. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm you the mom always the mom is always coddling the kids. The dad is the one that's supposed to be the discipliner, right? Yeah, but you know, it depends though, because Women just have a different outlook than men, though. Some men want to come in and say, this is straight and this is what's going on, but it don't resonate with us. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because I got I, I got way too many of y'all ladies coming in there asking the same damn question. So what company can I go to that don't do hair follicles? Look, man, if you have to come in there and ask what company to go to that don't do hair follicles, then you don't need to be driving. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Unpopular opinion here. Yeah. Just saying. So, <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the She Trucking Trucking Group, though, for real. Sheree Moore. Did you go to the, uh, did you go to the Espo? No. No, I'm not that deep into it now. Uh, yeah. So that means so that means you're not gonna go to the you're not gonna go to the one next year? Um, I don't know. All right. Next year, hopefully with this all this COVID and everything else that's been going on, um, including some stuff I'm trying to get straight. I hope to hit up a lot of different trucking things next year anyway, so man, they may end up on my list. Man, COVID a, a lot of a, a lot of these places is using COVID as an excuse. Big time, yeah. Big time, and it's, yep. it's it's a damn shame that they still, you know, pushing it on us. You know, we we supposed to be the we we supposed to be the quote unquote heroes. We still out here. We risking our lives and our health right. to bring you know to bring yeah. you the stuff that you still so that you can get better. We bringing we we bringing you the Moderma medicine, the the Pfizer medicine, and the what was what, Johnson and Johnson? We we bringing we bringing those by the truckloads though, you know. Yeah. And and but y'all still treat us some kind of way, you know. It, I, I don't know, I don't know. And as far as the job, you know, as far as the job market go, what with, with the short the job shortage, they over here saying yeah. it's a trucking shortage. No, 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 no. It's a. I can tell you what's a shortage in trucking. It's the, it's the freaking parking shortage. Talk about that, Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know because with trucking, we we got a gang of people coming in. Just in Florida alone, about sixty thousand people applied for their CDL. How the hell with that many it's people? Just a retaining people is what it is. Exactly. So if y'all want to yeah. talk about a shortage. Let's be for real. Let's talk about this parking shortage out here. Let's get no, together. Let's talk. And then let's talk about how supposedly 3,000 miles a week is the norm. No, no, that should not be the goal. 3,000 a week is a quick way to put yourself in the grave if you're out here for years. Mm. There you <laughs> That's go. That's my opinion. There you go. It should be. It should be. I get paid well and I do 2,000 to 2,500 miles a week. There you 34 go. hour breaks on a regular. I mean, come on. There you go. Well, yeah, especially if you're OTR, because you know you just don't go home like that. But. No, 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 no. We 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 not OTR. Mm, I go. Home. I am. I go home. Every, <laughs> I, I go home every weekend. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I do my. I do. This, this is this is the three main areas that I run. I run Florida, Texas, and sometimes uh, sometimes the Midwest. Other than that, I'm home every week. <laughs> 
That's it. Get me home every week. I'm not trying to be. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. You know, it's same thing with holidays. Now, you know, holidays is different. You know, especially when you lose loved ones and stuff like that. You know, your grandmas, your grandpas, your nieces, aunts, uncles. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they they kind of cooked out with a big table with a turkey in the middle of the table and all like that. But you know, it's unfortunate throughout life as it is. You know, you lose your loved ones and the key people kind of like yeah. go this separate way. So, but the only thing for me, uh, I don't want to be out here on the holidays. Right. I did, I did exactly. my time. Exactly. I did yeah. my I did my time. I I, yep. I feel that. I feel that two years at U.S. Express was enough time. <laughs> was enough time, right? Right, was enough time for me not right. to be out on the holiday. So, right when there's a that's holiday- why I worked myself up to this owner op because it's exactly mm-hmm. I took a week off for Thanksgiving. I couldn't have done that at no company. Exactly. It would have him and hard and got me home late and all kinds of crap. So exactly. So, like yeah. I said, it's it's all about. It's it's all about not being out here like Chris like Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh yeah. New Year's, uh Yeah, unless uh, you choose to. Easter. I mean it should be your choice. Right. Yeah. Easter and all that other good stuff. You know, yeah. because a lot of these trucking companies don't pay for holidays anyway, so what's the point? Right. So Hey, I'm gonna let you know, I don't know if you heard, but I'm hearing through grapevine with some very thin connections I still have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cute carriers closed out of Shakopee, Minnesota. What you you know the names? I think I know. I think I know one of them out of Shakopee. Yeah, Q carriers. I used to be there for a minute. Wait, Q care? Oh, Q Q carriers. Q carriers. Yes. That's Research not company. That's not the tanker, right? Because there's. No. A, there's a tanker company called Q Carriers too. Um, I think they were are one and the same. Because at some point, someone told me that it was like two brothers and they merged together and became Q Carriers. So there could be a tanker. No, no, no. You're thinking of. I know what you're thinking of. No, they're not out of Minnesota. Oh, okay. You okay. think you're thinking of the Q? No. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, so no, Q- no. This is this just a reefer company. They used to either have flatbed or tanker or something, but I think they did away with that and went straight reefer. But wow. uh, it's a small little terminal in Shakopee. But I was there, I think I was there almost six months. And that didn't work out for you too much? <laughs> no, no, they were super regional. Like, mm-hmm. people don't, that's the thing. Some of these companies don't even know what they are. I'm like, this is not OTR. I continuously come back to this terminal. This is not OTR. <laughs> if I go out uh, 1,000 to 1,500 miles and then come back in, this is super regional because I couldn't go uh, to Colorado, barely got to Topeka where my family was at because they didn't go that far. So I was like, no, this ain't working. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like, you ain't OTR. OTR means I can go where I need to go all across the states to see my fam. So, so. Q, so Q carriers out of Shakopee, they – they they will be closing their doors soon. Or they, they did. did no. The person I'm talking to is telling me they closed a couple of days ago or yesterday. Wow. Something. Here's another yeah. one by the dust. And see, that's you know what? The, the instead of asking Tom Foolery questions like, you know, what companies you can go to that don't do hair follicles, the question you should be asking is what companies to go to that's gonna still be around. You know, you got yeah, to, yeah, I know, like, right? Those, those are the questions you should be asking. Because <laughs> just last, like earlier this year, you know, Dylan, they went under, mm. you know, 40, 40 years of, of trucking with them and they they shut their yeah, doors. That's about, yeah, that's about how long. I want to say definitely over 20 years, if not 30 or 40, that one's been around. Wow. Like I said, it used to be two separate and whatever. There's a whole history. So, so they, um, they was they wasn't able to they they wasn't able to you know like sell off the company like like Lessers did because you know Hirschbach brought Lessers out. Um, this was a family owned, mm-hmm. so I would not put it. I don't know for sure, 
but I wouldn't pat, put it past them that as a family they decided just to shut it down. Wow. And what yeah, and you it, say, it was um you said passed two, on. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been it's been two, three years since I was over there or whatever. But uh, um No, 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 no. I no we, we Q carriers is, is is one of them that's already closed, but you said you said it was no two. Q carriers was oh. one, at one time two different companies. Oh, oh, oh but it was okay. it was still family was, owned. Yeah, oh, it's okay. all it was all that's all I remember. It was all family owned. When I was there, it was the son that took over for the father who took mm -hmm. over for the father. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was passed. You know, down and half the, the half, yeah, and half of the members were related, and right. so, and the thing is, is when you go to these smaller companies like that, you really do need to, need do to be research. aware. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, how long you know been, the way the how, economy's going? Yeah, how long? Yeah, been, and how I, long they've been in existence, and yeah, and if they go well, it's not only that. At any given time, you know, you're making bids. You have these contracts. Somebody new out here comes in and underbids you. You know what I'm saying? It's like the writing's on the wall. At that point, it's a matter of time if you can't find something equivalent to what you were doing. Exactly. Whew, man, that's wow. That's, that's why I'm not in a rush to create no trucking company. <laughs> 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 that right there, because that whole, you know, thinking you got a contract for the last 10 years and all of a sudden somebody comes in and just swoops it from under you. Uh, Red Duchess, we, we have spoke on, uh, we have spoke on, on you rocking out for uh, a, a very small upstart company. Um, you, how did, again, let's, let's, let's revisit that story. Um, uh, how, how did you come across parts more to motor group? Oh, no. Um, man, see, you take me way back, man. Way back, <laughs> back in the time. <laughs> uh, connecting to them, there used to be a Facebook group, yeah. um, Damn, now I forgot what the name of that was. That's sad, but uh, Back in the time. <laughs> I got involved with that. Got involved with everyone who were the key people mm -hmm. via that. Um, I ended up. I think I actually met Loshan. I'm not sure how I met Loshan, mm -hmm. but um, at some point, you know, I was all about him starting because everything he was saying was on point and everything, and and. To know that there's, uh, for you know, I'm not racist or anything, but for our people, when it's the men out here trying to do better and, and make something happen to that kind of scale, you know what I'm saying? I just saw an opportunity to support, and that's what I tried to do. So. All right. So how how long you was how long you was with him before you decided to to, to go to other opportunities? He knew, he knew I was going to other opportunities, but I jumped in and I stayed for about six months. But he knew before he even took me on that I wasn't going to be there long. Oh, okay. He actually even said it on his um, YouTubes and stuff. But so at the yeah. time, at, at the time you rocked out with him for for six months, how was your experience with him? It was good. Um, my only problem was Prime itself. He was connected to Prime at the time, mm -hmm. so yeah. Uh, and I still have problems with Prime, but I just I know I'm not with them. <laughs> I hear you. So, so at at that time, back in back in the time, he was yeah. he he was still getting his dispatches and everything from from Prime. Prime, right? yeah, and everything. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Prime brought me in, and uh, it was our. It, you know, I had issues, and then I did turn around and try to go through another smaller company. For a lease purchase um, that is also connected to Prime, and at that point, you know, they start you off with started me off. That's all I can speak is my experience. Three or four dollar lo per mile loads, and all of a sudden the bottom dropped out, and I was getting like a dollar twenty five, dollar fifty, oh, and I was wow. like, "There's no way I can afford this almost fifteen hundred fixed cost with truck note and everything." <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> on those dollar fifty per mile. It so. was trying to bounce you. Yeah. You, you was W two. No, 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 no. You you was ten ninety nine with with at with, that with no Loshan. with uh with Loshan I was W two. Oh, you was W two um, with Loshan? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so in other, you know, low shine parts, you know, you so you didn't have no problems with them as far as getting paid and and getting home and all like that. You you just knew that yeah. you you just knew yourself it wasn't going to be a long term deal with him. Like I was saying, he was just starting off, and any company starting off is going to go through some changes, and those changes came quite a bit, and so um, I knew that ahead of time, mm -hmm. so I had no problem. But yeah, we. So both of us coming into it knew I wasn't going to be there. All right. All right. Uh, I was just trying to get his stuff launched off, help him get it launched off. Was it, so. was it, was it hard for him uh, to keep good drivers in your opinion? You know, now that I'm owner op and kind of looked into that and uh, talked to other owner ops, independent ops and try to get a feel for it. Um, it's hard period. It don't matter who you are. <laughs> you know, and when you're, especially when you're just starting off and you ain't got, you know, that kind of bank account to pad it, you can't really jump off trying to pay your drivers what is actually being paid out here as far as the top and trying to do more than that mm -hmm. is the, is the picture I'm getting. So I know that at any point when I want to start getting other trucks, I'm going to have to make sure I got a bank account that can pad that for a while. So I can pay my driver better than most that's out here. Gotcha. What? Yeah. Now you know, Low Shine. He did. Uh, you know, he did a few live feeds, and I had the pleasure of talking with him myself. Um, yeah. he he did mention that he he had a lot of challenges with with a lot yeah. of with a lot of foo 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 for drivers. Uh, <laughs> did did what what he spoke. In his live feeds about what was going on with his trucks and how he was getting his trucks back and all like that. Uh, was there any truth to what he was saying, in your opinion? Um, I wouldn't know. Um, he had he had the first truck had a couple in it, and it was when he got his second truck, is the one that he put me in that we ended up teaming to go recover that truck. Then after he recovered that truck and I got started, he hired a third driver. Um, anything past that, I don't know, because it was basically, I believe, just three trucks until um, until I left. And then at that point, he started adding in. But Wow. So you had, so, I so what, so what happened, what, 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 what happened with with the initial truck that you guys had to go and recover, why? What the team just, um, just left it somewhere? What they? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details, but yeah, they left it somewhere, and uh, we went and recovered it. I mean, it was parked somewhere, so. Um, but yeah, that that team was just no longer uh, working for him. So. Wow. And this and 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 this is the stuff that owner ops go through, right? Oh yeah, out of the ones I've talked to, it's like man. And then just in some of the trunk groups I'm in, and some of the statements they've made, it's just like I, I'm definitely not ready for that. You know, I would love to put somebody in this truck and go get the one I want, mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's no way I don't I don't mm -mm. no because I can understand you gotta. It, it's rough because you want to do the same as the mega carriers, but you can't because you're you're a small company, and small companies generally have more going on for a driver than your mega carriers. So, um, you know, wow. your truck, in my opinion, your truck should be decked out with what they need. You should be paying them good, and then you should actually put them, you know, do a real good interview probably a couple times, definitely face to face, you know. And so I have to make sure I got money in the account to go drive somewhere <laughs> to do that face to, to face. To you know actually, what I mean? To actually know who you put in, yeah. in, in the right. truck. Right. So you just, you know, you just, you know, you've his popularity on YouTube at the time that he is oh, I bet. some, you know, some FUPA drivers. I have the tiniest, tiniest fraction. <laughs> Of the people that he dealt with on a massive scale coming to me, approaching me as Red Duchess. And um, 
I'm just like, wow. You know, if I had to deal, and it's, it's not a whole lot of people, it's just a, you know, one here, one there. If I had to deal with that on a, on a bigger scale, um, that's going to be rough. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of glad that I ain't completely blown up because um, until now, uh, a couple years ago, I probably wasn't ready for that. So, what do you, what do you, what do you think about these? Uh, what do you think about these? Well, let, let me, let me, let me give you the backdrop right quick. So, for uh-huh. for me, I always walk in silence. I mean, I, I never, I never came on social media to brag, to boast, to do none of that. I always, I, I was always taught that you do your dirt all by your lonely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're gonna yeah. do if you're gonna do some dirt, you do it on your own. You don't let nobody know. You you don't let the you don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what I was taught. But you know, this is this is the new millennial. This is social media. Everything has to be online. You have to talk about every nook and cranny. You got to talk about when you're going to take a shit. You got to talk about when you <laughs> when you jump in the water in Cancun. You got to talk yeah. about, you know, everything. You know what I'm saying? So w- me coming from the old school, I I'm not I, I don't do all of that. And for the people that that do brag and boast, do you think they have more issues than people that don't um you, wait a minute so you asked me if people brag have more issues than people who don't mm-hmm. no, for, on social media okay um you know i mean being on the outside looking in you would probably say yes but it actually depends on the person um just some people with how they are on social media is exactly how they are, which is me, but I just, I don't do all that loud and drama. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but that, those that people that do sense. that on social media, yeah, people who do it on social media in some cases are the same way in public on, on a regular basis. So for them, they already attracted that type, those people and issues. And so just, Doing it on a bigger scale on social media is not that big of a problem. Got then you got people who get on social media and fall for needing to be that kind of drama and stuff like that. And then they're the ones that have true mental health issues in the background because they're trying to deal with all that when they, you know, you should have just. And, and that's been my whole thing is I, how you see me in my videos is how I am out here. Like, there's none of. If I bring drama in, <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit, but that you know, that's all it is. It's I don't. It's just the same. It's, when you meet me, I'm the same from oh, yeah, there I, to yeah, the video. You, so. Yeah, you, 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 you're an awesome person. I met you in person. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I met you in person. Got the picture with you yeah. and everything. So yeah, you, you are an awesome person. So thank you very much for letting me in your circle, man. Um, <laughs> So, Red Duchess, before we get on up out of here, man, again, yeah. thank you, thank you. Um, do you why well, now you 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 a YouTuber like myself? I I think I'm gonna, you know, I I think you know as much problems that I have with YouTube, I'm I'm still yeah. a YouTuber. I'm not gonna, right. I'm not gonna jump ship. I'm not gonna run right. to another, you know, run to another platform and try to build and all like that. But right. why haven't you? Uh, you know, now I know you on Instagram, you on Facebook, but why mm-hmm. haven't you uh tipped on uh TikTok? I am on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> oh. and that side of me is just for fun and for whatever. It's not there isn't a whole lot of trucking related anything on there. All right, that's what's up. So, that's what's up. So you you just want to leave the trucking stuff alone with uh with TikTok and just be. And yeah, well, I did a little bit of trucking stuff on TikTok, but no, that my main plant platform is YouTube. Here lately, it's been my Facebook, but yeah, between Facebook and YouTube. But you wanna be bad, you be a bad, be a bad. No one wants to be the 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 be